and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today's video is a requested video. It is an NG forecast. It has been requested by Anna Mistake and we're going to be talking about the lunar eclipse that took place today, the 18th of September. Um, I would say that the first thing to note is about this lunar eclipse is that it's really been a culmination. This full moon has really been a culmination of a lot of stress very much going on. You might find have found that you've uh, been a buzzing bee. There's just been a lot to do, a lot to take care of. Things have been keeping you quite occupied. That's just on the surface. When you look at this energy from underneath, you'll see that all these set of eclipses are, are really a referral to the eclipses that happened earlier this year and are referencing a lot of that. I think that one of the things to, to to look at is how your relationships have changed over the year. And if you take a look at your each of your relationships to each person that is close to you or not that close to you, um, if you look at the waves through which it's come, you would have found that this full moon, this eclipse, is actually bringing uh, a culmination to particular relationships as well. So the way in which you relate to people um, may have taken on um, more forgiveness. You may be more forgiving towards yourself as well as to those people. It might be that you also feel that you've been able to easily set boundaries between yourself and that person. You... Um, you would have found that you feel more mature in the way in which you deal with people gen just generally. You have more strength. It's like you have a greater awareness that's come to you and you're able to function uh, more efficiently in the way in which you deal with your relationships. That it is, you've set boundaries and you have relationships which are actually good to you and supporting you rather than taking away from you and depleting you. And so that is one of the the things that this uh, lunar eclipse has brought us. It's brought, well, what we've been working through towards in this lunar eclipse. And as I say, it's a culmination. So it, it's really a rounding up of all the work that you've been busy with in the last six months. The last six months have really been a time for you to um, understand yourself and understand how it is that you give off yourself. So where is it that you make sacrifices and you are compromising yourself as a result, uh, severely comp compromising yourself? And do you actually need to do that? So it's very much about themes of sacrifice and being a martyr. Are you willing to martyr yourself? Are you willing to give up yourself along the way? And how much of that are you willing to do? Um, you may have found in the months of June, July and August that it's very been much been about that, about how much you've had to do for others more than yourself and how others have uh, had to come first in your life. And to what extent have you allowed this to to happen uh, to the point that you've been depleted and that you've not taken care of yourself? And I think that as we we head forward now, um, you will find that there'll be a lot of time from the middle of September till, well, I wouldn't say right now because I think we're still in the throes of all that stuff that's going on. But um, I think from next week onward, from around the equinox uh, till the solstice, so from around the 22nd of September till around the um, 22nd of December, you're going to find that... Uh, you have a lot more time to take care of yourself. You have a lot more awareness of what you need and what is necessary for you to do to take care of, of yourself. Whereas you might not have had that. That might have been in your blind spot uh, from the last solstice. So from June till now, you might have find, found that that's actually been you, you might have been aware of what your needs are and how it is that you need to take care of yourself, but you might not have found that you've had the time to be able to do so or the, the ability to do that. The space wasn't opening itself up for you to be able to do what you've needed for yourself. There's been a change in your relationships to people as well as a change to your relationship to yourself in terms of self-care. 
another thing that's been prevalent here uh, in this in this time or what we've been working towards in the last six months is actually consolidating a particular direction that we're about to take in our lives. So um, you might have been aware of an idea. There's been an idea floating around in your mind for the last three or four years, but you haven't actually and you started taking some concrete steps to it around February, March and maybe April. And then there's been just the space where there's it's been it's not been possible to work on this. And as you come into the next month and now you might have found that now since the end of August, the beginning of September, this is the only time that it's becoming relevant to you again and that you're able to work on it again in order to make progress in your life and in order to reach a particular goal that you've set for yourself. And the thing about this goal is that it might be that you're not completely committed to it because what you, you are uncertain about it. You maybe are not feeling as confident or you just don't feel that you have the ability to, to do it or you're not convinced by it or you're not convinced by the... Um, by the goodness of it or the effect that it would have or you're not convinced about how to go about doing it um, you might lack confidence skills knowledge about how you go to go about doing it and so you've been there's been a bit of a pause or something that's taken you away from it and I think that um, you would have felt that in this last six months that your direction you've been moved in a different direction or you've been delaying it or procrastinating or pushing it away from you because you've been afraid of actually taking it on. Well, as you came to the end of August, you would have found that you might have been extremely stressed out, but you have had it in your consciousness and it has been bugging you. It, it has been working at you. So now you actually need to take action and move in the direction that you need to in order to make that a reality. Now, having said that, I think that this has quite a lot to do with your own soul purpose and what and the reason that you're here. It really has to do a lot with your progress and your future and how you will move into your future. And I think if you keep avoiding it, it's going to be, it's going to, you're going to feel disappointed with yourself. So I think take action today already. Um, I know you have been kind of it has been up in the air it has been there dogging at you okay so I think that now uh, that it's been there it's time to acknowledge it embrace it and actually take it on so that you can incorporate it into your life uh, where they will you need to make space for it in your life there will be some adjustments which I think is probably also the reason that you have been avoiding it and so if you can actually just make that space in your life for this it would be fantastic to it'll be it'll be great to be able to move ahead in the direction that you need to and um, start doing that because once you've started that you'll realize that this is what you should have been doing the whole time you'll realize that this is who you've been made to be you know this is it fits you so well and it takes into account all your interests as well as your different capacities and uh, skills and you're able to put all of what you've learned over the years and you, you're able to just put it all together and comes together so smoothly and so beautifully. And so the, now after this eclipse, you're going to find that you're able to work with that a bit more and you, you're going to, um, it's going to shine, you know, you're going to be able to do it. It won't be easy. Uh, it will require some degree of effort and um, commitment from you. But once you've done that, you're going to find that you feel so good about it and it just comes naturally and that perhaps you've been overthinking it a little bit. OK, so that is that that this new path that you're about to embark upon. And it's not a big difference from the life that you've been living. It's just a small it's just a small adjustment that you have to make. You might be doing it already, but you haven't put yourself out there. You might be you might. It might be that you've been doing it for a very long time already, but you haven't put yourself out there. This thing, which I'm talking about, um, asks you to put yourself out there because you're going to be um, receiving and well, having some kind of audience regarding it. And you're going to have um, some kind of interest around it that allows you to be able to uh, go deeper 
in the work that you're doing. So let's say you've been doing something as a hobby this entire time. Well, now you'll be able to create some support for that outside of yourself. You'll be able to do it as a business, perhaps, or you'll be able to um, to do it in a way that allows you to completely apply yourself and makes you feel so good about yourself. Okay, so it's yeah, perhaps it's about taking a hobby and turning it into your mainstream uh, work or bring it out there so that people can support you with it and encourage you further and help you do what you want to do, help you achieve your goals. Okay, so that's what that is about. So yes, we have the relationships to family, we have uh, the the hobby or this thing that you need to reinstate or not reinstate rather, but commit to in your life so that you can um, do it more in a more wholesome manner and do it with a full commitment. Just put put all your energy behind it and a path for you to go forward. But there's also something else that's been um, t- going on now. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the Mercury retrograde, the last Mercury retrograde that we've had, has been really, really intense. And uh, I don't really pay attention that much to Mercury retrograde either. And I know a lot of people who don't, but who have felt the negative effects of this Mercury retrograde. And all of it has been really unpleasant and really annoying. But at the same time, it has been there to work so that we can work towards and it prepares us for what we are going to be in right now and I what we are headed to right now. And what I can say is that it is completely worth it and it will really be very rewarding. The times that we've been through in the last month and a half and the way in which we are headed to is going to be it's it's linked and we're going to be uh, able to really enjoy the fruits of our labor that of and and the struggles that we've had um having led up to this point so i think there's a lot of uh goodness that comes out of this eclipse and a lot of um a lot of um it's, it definitely is a culmination in terms of the amount of work that we've been doing. And for some of us, it would have entered, you would have started feeling differently about two days ago. And for others, it will only end next week sometime, like around the equinox. Um, and you're going to find that you are able to just move ahead. And this huge weight has been lifted off your shoulders. And you just feel like so much it just becomes so much lighter and you're able to just uh, finish off certain things. So it might have been like blocks of work that you have had to uh, finish and put behind you or projects that you've had to finish and put behind you. Cases, if you're an attorney, uh, which you've had to complete and put behind you. And after that, when it opens up, as it opens up now between this eclipse and the, the equinox that's coming up now in September, you kind of find that your road is opened and there's light flowing into your life and that you have so much more, so much more avail- available to you, so much more that you can achieve as well. And it's almost as if time has been really tense and it's been really hard in the last uh, few months. But as we enter, uh, as we come to the end of September and you go into October, it's like time becomes elastic, you know, and you can um, you can stretch time. And yes, the days for for those of you in the northern hemisphere get shorter, but it is it, it, there's more time you have more time you're able to do much more from it so that's the other uh, thing that comes out of this now in terms of the world um and the way in which we headed to i would say that what we need to think about is and in terms of how this eclipse relates to that is that um there are definitely changes coming about okay 2025 is going to be quite different um i in back in 2021 2020 and 2021 i talked about the eclipses i mean i talked about the financial state of our being and how it'll impact us all and i think as we go into 2025 that starts to come to an end and it starts to get a little bit more um manageable so Yes, things will never be the same prices that they were before, but I think it becomes 
more uh, doable. Okay, as you enter into 2025, uh, I think February, around February and March, you're going to have some kind of release coming from uh, from a financial point of view, and it's going to be a lot easier. You're going to also find that um, you are, you are suddenly, suddenly have, between now and then, there's going to be opportunities for you to make money and to be able to earn more and for some kind of winnings to come your way. Uh, so by of February and March of next year, you're going to have um, the, the benefits um, of, of all of the work that you've put in, as well as you're going to have some relief from the from inflation. So that's uh, one one aspect. That's the financial stuff. Uh, the other thing that you ought to know about as we come into 2025 is that there are going to be dangers. There are unfortunately going to be things that one needs to um, be aware of and massive changes. There's going to it's going, it can be quite a roller coaster for some. And that will continue between 2025 and I think 2029, 2028, 2029. And I think that you are going to need to hold on quite tightly. The advice that I would give you as far as this, this is concerned is try to just be calm, breathe, stay within yourself, come outside, come within yourself, move towards yourself and have develop your relationship to yourself and explore the your internal world and the vastness of your own universe. Because outside of you, it's you're going to find that life becomes even more stressful. And it can be that as governments um, uh, implement new policies, as um, world organizations and leaders take on um, a different stance on things, uh, that it, it becomes quite... Um, suffocating for you and I think that the solution to that would be to go internally and explore your internal world through meditation through practices such as yoga and uh, through, in a ways that allow you to to understand that you are not you are independent you're free and you are not imprisoned in any way or form and that all of these uh, policies rules regulations and um, control that is imposed upon you is something that is in fact an illusion and that you are always free and you are always able to to have complete control of your life and that nobody can in fact control you as long as you have your mind and you have access to your inner self okay so I know that sounds a bit scary and it does it is a bit bleak but I think that we do need to be prepared for um, for what comes. And there are many ways to to prepare, but also at the same time, there's almost no ways in which to prepare aside from the, the suggestion that I've just given you. Um, and I think that at the same time, as we need to be prepared for um, things that take place in 2025, which can be um, quite uh, difficult. I think what we need to be aware of is that 2025 is also going to bring great prosperity. It's going to bring a lot of uh, forward movement in terms of our own skills development, in terms of our own well-being, in terms of our own um, ability to look after ourselves and our own mental health the ability to to look after ourselves physically. So one of the other things that this eclipse um, has is, is is basically bringing to a culmination is our health. Okay, now a lot of you may have found that there has been some health concerns that have cropped up in the last while, and this um, this eclipse is going to actually wash away certain things such as cysts or certain inflammation certain things that are bugging your body or toxins that can be released so you, it is an opportunity for you to um 
release yourself of the poisons that are in your body. And I think that if you are doing some kind of detox at the moment, that would be great. If you do get sick at this point, it's uh, it's an opportunity for yourself to go into overdrive to repair itself. So that's also fine. And um, or you might just find yourself needing to get out and be in nature and having nature cleanse you by being in water, by being at the earth, being in, you know, in the forests or being in water. So I think that this eclipse is very much about bringing a culmination to some fears that you may have held regarding your health. And having uh, said so, that is actually something that is um, that is going to to be uh, it's going to be something that's going to allow you to move ahead in 2025 without the worries of that. So if you've been diagnosed with something or if you've been um, if you if you've had some kind of health problem that's been with you for a while or if it's just come up in the last few months, you're going to find because for uh, for some of you, I feel like this is just something that's come up in the last two to three months or even two to three weeks. And for most of you, it's also going to end right now. OK, and this is a great opportunity for you to use this time to be able to heal yourself and to be able to overcome that. And it's not something that has to stay with you for a long time. It's not something that defines you. You're not you're not going to be defined by your diagnosis unless you choose to be. OK, if you choose to be di defined by your diagnosis, then that is your well, your choice. And that's how you will be. But this is a time in which you could choose to overcome that without actually being sucked into it, drawn into it and having it. Um, define who you are and it is possible for people to overcome their illnesses almost immediately I've been working with clients in this last few weeks and I've seen it happen with my own eyes and that healing it has become so much more effective and is has such a it's 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 got this this huge potential to be instant okay so those of you who are healers you'll know what I'm talking about your healing powers have increased and that is just the wonderful uh, things that are happening so it's not all bleak um, and as you go into 2025 you're going to find also that healing would have increased and we are actually winning that battle between the you know that we've been fighting with the dark forces so you and you are going to you are actually we are willing that winning that battle and it is going to be okay as we are winning that battle however the forces upon the earth gets gets tighter and stronger and so you may find that um it is uh, th that yeah i don't know how to express this without getting banned on youtube but uh you will find that as you get into 2025 that there are some tightening and some control uh, where uh, governments and other institutions will try to um, uh, kind of have more control over you but because healing is uh, our, the healing powers have gotten so much stronger and because we are moving towards the light and because of our own ability to be able to look after ourselves and take back that control that we might have given up along the way from our births in fact because that's how we are um if we are institutionalized in the system well you're going to find that you have the ability to actually re reclaim much of your power because the healing is stronger and as i mentioned earlier explore your inner world and understand the vastness of it and actually the power that you have as a result so i think that um and this eclipse is actually beckoning that it's kind of it's signaling to it you know and so i think that there's a lot here that we have that is uh, that we have to look forward to and a lot that we can do at this time and a lot that we can do for ourselves as well and uh, that we are not dependent on others for that we are we are no longer dependent on on others for 
to save us because we can save ourselves all right so anyway this video is now um, quite long and I don't want to go on much longer than this I will break it up uh, for you in the comment section so you can go directly to the parts that you're interested in uh, but yeah I wish you all a fabulous time and uh, if you are feeling very stressed and you've, you've had a lot to do, understand that this will come to an end within the next week and it will be a lot easier. Try to pace yourself. Try to um, work with time being elastic. OK, for those of you who've studied with me, who've done courses with me, um, I would have given you some some of you, at least I would have given you some indication of how to do that. So uh, try to spread the word and actually, you know, use the power that you have available and accessible to you to uh, create your life in the way that you'd want to. And I w uh, one last thing I want to say is that uh, realize that your happiness is actually yours only and it's not dependent on anything else and it's certainly not dependent on what is external to you. All right. And if you keep that, um, you will actually be okay. You will be okay. And um, there is more to be spoken about regarding this eclipse, but I don't want this video to be very, very long. Um, yeah, I wish you all a fabulous time ahead. And I will be back at the beginning of October with, with your Oracle card guidance. Okay, wishing you much love and many blessings to all of you. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.